you have the right kiteboarding equipment to practice? In this video, I'll try to answer this question with some tips and recommendation for those die-hard self-learners who want to learn by themselves. This is a topic most people think they can save money, but ends up being the one they end up spending more money on. My name is Thiago Rocha and I'm an IKO examiner with more than 15 years of experience teaching from beginners to instructors competing in international tours. Having had the experience of learning by myself, I picked up a lot of tricks along the way that I will pass on to you. So if you're interested in knowing more, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more and activate the notifications to find out when the next video is out. This one is part of a series about self-learning. Do you have the right kiteboarding equipment to practice? One of the significant problems that can result in emergencies and cause accidents is equipment failure. Kites bladders lose air, lines can snap, chicken loops that snap or slip off or accidentally release, harnesses that breaks, all these can turn your session into a nightmare, especially if the wind is strong. Many kitesurfing beginners think they should get crappy equipment to learn because it will get abused a lot. Kites will crash, lines will get tangled and caught on things. However, unreliable equipment can add many hazards to a learner's experience. That's why most kitesurf schools try to renew their gear every year. Also, if the equipment is crappy, it will not last long as it will be very abused initially. But worse than that, it will not help you progress, making your improvements harder. If you're learning on your own, using a kite, kite lines and harness, which are in decent shape, will reduce the risk of injury to you and others. So before getting a kite, learn how to find out if it's the right one. I'll make a video to help you out on this quest and you will be able to find the link on the description below once it's done. The trainer kite. Can you get a hold of a trainer kite to learn how to fly it? If you're going to learn by yourself, consider starting with a trainer kite. These kites are much smaller and produce a lot less pull, making it a lot less risky to discover how to control them. A trainer kite can still drag you in the sand, but since it's not attached to you, it's easier to let it go. These trainer kites are usually piloted using just your hands. So when you let them go, they enter into safe mode, stopping. You can start with a small foil kite with two or three lines to learn the basics. I would recommend a three line kite and a new good one will cost around 200 euros. A cheaper version can cost around 50 euros, but it might not last your trial and error phase as you will probably crash it a few times. After finding the right kite for you, find yourself a place with enough space to fly it without people around you and no wind obstacles. An empty beach would be my suggestion. Start on a day with light winds that allow the kite to fly correctly but doesn't pull you much. Fly a kite a bit to get the basic pilot dialed in and try to park the kite at the edge of the wind window and walk with it parked simulating the kite position when riding. These exercises will give you better control when you go to the water. Explore the wind window and get a feeling where the kite pulls and doesn't. If you don't know what equipment to get and are looking online for bargains, I recommend investing in a kite course instead. First, you can learn if you like the sport before committing to it. And it's also much cheaper to support 300 to 400 euros in learning this sport than spending 1,500 to 2,000 in gear to destroy it in the first attempts because you don't know how to use it. If you're searching for a place to learn, check out these six points to help you find the right school for you. You can find a link above or in the description below. This video is part of a series related to learning by yourself. In the next video, I'll talk about the safety gear you should have when learning or practicing kitesurfing. Also, leave a comment in the comment section to keep this conversation going or say hi, as it's always lovely to hear from you. See you in the next video.